Folks, it's Friday. <laughs> I don't know what song we're dancing to, but I like it. Now, I got a quick word of warning before we get started here. Tonight's monologue was created in a factory that also processes peanuts. And it's important to say that just in case anyone has an allergy, especially now, because Mylan, the company that produces uh, these EpiPens right here, anybody use one of these? They have jacked up the price of these pens from less than $100 for a pair to over 600 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. That price is enough to send you into shock, but don't do it because you can't afford the pen anymore. <laughs> now, Mylan Pharmaceuticals claims the price, quote, has changed over time to better reflect the value the product provides. <laughs> now, <laughs> to be clear, that value is saving the lives of people who can't breathe. Or, as Mylon likes to call them, gasping cash filled meat sacks. Oh, man. Now, all of this hiking up, you know, medicine reminds a lot of people of a guy named Martin Shkreli, the pharma bro who jacked up the cost of HIV drugs by 5,000%. Can we, Jim, can we put up a picture of Shkreli? <laughs> that was a close one. I'm severely allergic to douche. And when I asked about my land, Shkreli certainly has something to Shkrell about. These are life-saving drugs. People don't have a choice whether they can buy them or not. Yeah, well, that's up to insurance to pay for them. Like I said, it's $300 a pen. $300. My iPhone's $700. Okay, so... But you don't a... need an iPhone to exist. Yeah, that doesn't matter, though, because it's $300 and 90% of Americans are insured. Okay, I got two problems with that. His total heartlessness and her assertion that it is possible to live without an iPhone. <laughs> Does she have a Galaxy? What is? I don't understand. Well, after starting a firestorm yesterday, Mylan CEO Heather Bresch came forward to address the criticism. Heather, surely you must understand the outrage. The American Medical Association has said, this is basically the same product it was in 2009, and yet the price has gone up three or four hundred fold. So, the fr look, no one's more frustrated than me. She's frustrated. I mean, the tone deafness of that just takes your breath away, and getting your breath back will cost you over 600 bucks. <laughs> now, in other news... In other news, the, uh, the FBI is investigating whether Russian intelligence agencies have hacked the computers at the New York Times. Or as the Times reported it, Putin named world's sexiest leader. <laughs> oh, uh, here's an occupational hazard to worry about now. Uh, if you play the bagpipes, and who amongst us has not dabbled, mm -hmm. watch out that you don't get what doctors are now calling bagpipe lung. That's when the mold and the fungi lurking inside your bagpipe trigger coughing, shortness of breath, and even fever. I mean, physical fever, not bagpipe fever, which we all, <laughs> we all have. Oh, yeah. This is according to an article in a medical journal called, and this is true, Thorax. <laughs> I'm a subscriber. I keep it on my coffee table between the latest issue of Ant Head and Wasp Abdomen. <laughs> bagpipe lung. Can be. Took a while for that to sink in. Took a while. <laughs> Remember your, your, your eighth grade biology class? All right. All oh, the monologue tonight's gonna have footnotes for everybody. Now, uh, what's going on here? Bagpipe lung can be tricky to diagnose. Okay, it's hard to distinguish a hacking cough from just a Scottish accent. <laughs> oh, let's go to Loch Lomond and eat some potted hock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm panics in my breasty. The need to shy away so hasty with pickling brattle. <laughs> this week, in other news, yes, there is other news other than bagpipe lung. <laughs> this week, McDonald's recalled millions of fitness bands because they contain dangerous levels of irony. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's is a happy meal. 
You're happy here. I'll wait. I'll wait. McDonald's recalled the wristbands after they left people with burns and blisters, which technically is the job of their apple pie filling. <laughs> Any Lord of the Rings fans out there? <laughs> Me too. Well, a story just came out about Napster billionaire Sean Parker's Lord of the Rings themed wedding back in 2013. Here's what happened Sir Ian McKellen has revealed that he turned down $1.5 million to officiate the wedding as Gandalf saying, I am sorry, Gandalf doesn't do weddings. <laughs> Damn right. Gandalf doesn't have time to marry you, Sean Parker. He is a servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of honor. He killed the mother truck and Balrog after chasing the ancient immortal demon through the tunnels of Khazad Doom until they climbed the peak of Zurich Ziggle where he smote the demon's ruin on the mountainside. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No, I'm mad. No, I'm angry now. And you know, did you know? Then Gandalf himself died and returned from the dead as Gandalf the White. And why? So he can marry the Napster guy? No. <laughs> Napster hasn't been a thing since Arendil flew Vingalot to Valinor. <laughs> if you invite Gandalf to do the wedding, besides, listen, if you invite Gandalf, Golem's gonna wanna be the ring bearer, and somebody is gonna be losing a finger. 